Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to a special live stream. Today I'm here with a lot of familiar faces. Uh, you know them for their Cobra Kai interviews, videos, creations, and more. And today we're doing something really special. We're doing a script read through of season three, episode eight, The Good, The Bad, and The Badass. So uh, first off, shout out to Mariah, who actually wrote the whole script. Yeah. Thank you, Mariah. Yeah. Uh, definitely yeah. saved me a lot of time. So. Yeah. <laughs> and and Thank yeah. You, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. So we're going to go through the whole, we're going to go through the whole episode um and we have our characters listed next to our <laughs> names so uh you'll know who's who and we're just <laughs> she's go trying to figure it, it out <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna wing it it's gonna uh just be a lot of fun and uh we'll see how it goes so you guys ready just get right into it let's yep. do it Ru yeah, let's run we've right. we have not practiced this by the way nope not at all <laughs> and we watched the yep. episode no rehearsal <laughs> no rehearsal yeah. so this is all <laughs> not <laughs> all right so let's let's just get right into it if you guys are ready let's go we are doing a reading of cobra kai season three episode eight the good the bad and the badass opens in miyagi do I know it's been a while since our last class. After the fight at the school, I wasn't sure Miyagi-Do should stay open. But things have gotten worse since we shut down. That's why we're back. The only way to stop Cobra Kai is if we all work together. But always remember, the reason we learn karate is to... Show the world that you're not a bunch of pansy-ass nerds. You're going to show them that you're tough. Because eagles don't get shit on. They're the ones who do the shitting. Just, just don't forget, being a badass doesn't mean being an asshole. The goal isn't to hurt other kids. The goal is to win at all costs. Those who <laughs> thought to be our allies have turned against us. Now our enemies are attacking us from all sides. There is no turning back. Now is the time to show them. Forgiveness, compassion. Mr. Miyagi used to say, if you're looking for revenge, you can start by digging two graves. He was right. If you have hate in your heart, then you have already lost. I know it's not easy, but you have to do whatever you can to beat the living crap out of him. Don't let him push you around. You got to swoop down like an eagle, grab him with your claws and sink your fangs into him. But I don't ever want you to start the fight. I just want you to finish it for good. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's all. <laughs> no rehearsal. Okay. Yes, sir. Robbie, we're at the juvenile corrections. Johnny tries to get in. It's locked. They'll buzz it open when he's on his way out. You gotta be kidding. They called you? I called them. With Shannon still in rehab, I just wanted to make sure someone was here to pick him up. Well, I'm here, aren't I? I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm just here for Robbie. Robbie doesn't need you. You've done enough. Thank you. Goodbye. So you got it all under control? Yeah, I do. Just like you had Crease under control, right? What did you think was going to happen when you summoned that devil back to Earth? Crease is my problem. Not anymore. He's made it crystal clear he is everyone's problem. And as usual, I'm going to have to be the one that's going to clean up your mess. I clean up my own messes, and I'm dealing with it. And how exactly are you dealing with it? What are you going to do, barge in there and beat him up? That worked out really great at the chop shop. Yeah, well, those guys deserved it. See, that's your problem, Johnny. Your whole life you've been striking first. You never once considered that maybe you should think first. You know what I'm thinking right now? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. Robbie walks out of the door. Seriously? Robbie... Hey, Ravi. Seriously? You here. <laughs> <laughs> My, <laughs> wait, who is not there? So I'm just gonna do it. Seriously? Wait, didn't he say? Wait, it? We, we have a Ravi. Yeah, I said that. that. <laughs> we have a Ravi. Ravi's here. I said seriously, Ravi. 
Oh, Drew. hey, <laughs> hey, Robbie. <laughs> I told you I don't want you here. You're my son. I wanted to be I here. I told you I don't want you here. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> we have two Rubbies. <laughs> don't do me any favors. It's your fault I was in here. <laughs> Hang on. Time out. I think so. Andy's Cut. Robbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Andy is here. Watch party. We have I we have Robbie. Him. I don't hear Can him. you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear him. Okay. Yeah, we hear him. <laughs> oh. That was great. Just, Just go. All right. Okay, so I... let's start uh scene three again. Oh, from the right, top. The whole so series. Or... No, how about just Robbie walks out the door? Robbie yeah, Robbie walks out the door. Right, you Robbie say Robbie walks out, the walks out the door, then Andy is Robbie. Right? Yeah. Okay, okay so just start from seriously and then. Right. Okay, here we go again. Seriously? Robbie walks out the door. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> Robbie. Hey, Robbie. <laughs> Oh, wait. Don't. <laughs> okay, okay, you got this. I told you I don't want you here. You're my son. I wanted to be here. So did I. Don't do me any favors. It's your fault I was in there. Listen, I know you're upset, but I was doing what was best for you. And now that you're out, I, I just want you to know that I'm here. You always have a home at Miyagi-Do. Or with me. Both of you. Stay out of my life. Robbie. Robbie. Uh, Robbie walks away. Wait. All right. Miguel and Sam at school. Miguel walks in, makes eye contact with Hawk, then rolls his eyes and walks away. Runs into Sam. Oh, sorry. I. I'm sorry, Sam. No, I'm sorry. I should have been watching where I was going. <laughs> Me too. So, um, congratulations on being back on your feet again. Literally. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you get back to your friends. They're not my friends anymore. Not after what they did to you guys. Sam, I should probably get to the study hall. <laughs> I'm actually headed that way too. Okay. Sam and Miguel walk together through the hall. So, uh, you think enough time has passed for us to uh, be friends again? Or we'll start over? Sam holds hand out and shakes with Miguel. Hi, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Miguel, it's mm -hmm. a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's it? laughs> Yasmin stops out of shock and embarrassment. Hey, um, we were just uh, doing study work. Dimitri nods. Yep. So you two are what? You, you, no. Like I would ever date this freak. Yasmin walks away flustered. Whatever, Cruella. Why don't you go kill a bunch of Dalmatians? Dimitri looks at Sam and Miguel. I am one hundred and one percent in love. <laughs> Dimitri leaves Sam and Miguel smile and chuckle I can't believe that just happened Yeah I guess uh, Love conquers all I guess Sam it and does. Miguel go to class uh, Daniel teaching in Miyagi-Do Okay let's do it again From the top Keep going let's go Come on Chris you know these moves Dan? Dan, you're Chris. Dan, I'm sure he loves Dan. To... <laughs> <laughs> so what you get with no rehearsals. <laughs> We're doing all right. Cobra Kai Studio, Dan? Dan, are you here? Sorry, I'm Daniel. just trying to keep up. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> now you're so, Amanda Nearly. walks in. Yeah, Amanda walks in on Cranky Daniel. <laughs> Dimitri messes up moves. Did you like having your own broken, Dimitri? Because if you defend like that, you're going to be right back in that cast before you know it. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, let's take five, yeah? 
There's iced tea and lemonade inside. Students murmur about how brutal that was as they go inside the dojo. Amanda and Daniel meet. Uh, take it easy, Sensei. It's their first week back. They should know this stuff by now. You know, it's my fault they're in this position. And one day they may find themselves all alone out there and they're going to need these techniques to survive. Okay, so this is all about Robbie, right? Look, Daniel, you need to let him figure it out. If he wants to come back, the door is always open. But if he doesn't, you're going to have to let him go. I can't just let him go. He has no one. Ron enters. Whoa, would you look at this? Hey, Ron. Why are we holding our board meetings at the rec center when you have the enchanted tiki room out here? Are those real koi? Daniel and Amanda walk over to meet Ron. What's up? The All Valley's still months away. Is there a problem with the committee? There's a problem with the whole tournament. Daniel looks at Ron in confusion. Eagle Fang in the park. Bert kicks a frisbee. Good, Bert. Remind me not to piss you off. Ass face, you're next. <laughs> Does my nickname got a carry over from the previous dojo? Want to be penis breath? <laughs> Ass face is fine. Kicks a frisbee. <laughs> Good penis breath. All right, Diaz, you're up. Miguel walks over to Johnny. Imagine this is the guy I stole this frisbee from, all right? Just picture his stupid white dreads. Miguel attempts to kick frisbee and fails. Whoa! All right, good hustle. Who's next? No, I can do it, Sensei. Miguel, it's fine. I got it. All right, get in the side stance. Use the balls of your feet. Miguel attempts to kick and falls. Miguel! Students crowd over him and ask okay? if he's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, everybody, take five. Go get some water. But not from the fountain. I saw some meth head wipe his ass in it. Johnny looks at Miguel. It's okay if you can't do the things you could do before. Nobody's expecting you to be your old self, all right? Mitch's phone beeps. Beep, beep, beep. You got to be shitting me. What? What happened? They canceled the All Valley. They did what? Back at Miyagi-Do. They canceled it. The city council just up and pulled the permit. Something about not wanting to foster a cultural violence after the whole fracas at the school. I, it's overcorrection, if you ask me. Amanda comes out with lemonade, gives it to Ron. We even had State Farm on board as a sponsor. Now I got to call my agent Taylor and break the bad news. So that's it then? I mean, they cast karate as the villain without any context whatsoever, and we can't do anything about it? There's a community hearing. It's pretty much a formality. But with the All Valley Committee feels, if there's one person that can convince the city to overturn their decision, it's the two-time champ. Daniel nods. All right. Well, I got to go talk with the rest of the board. Drinks lemonade. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> drinks lemonade. Uh, mm, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Mm, that's good. Did you grow your own lemons or? Uh, it's crystal light. Delightful. Look at what you did there. Ron hands lemonade to Amanda and leaves. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe on some level this is for the best. At least Cobra Kai doesn't have a free stage to put their violence on display, right? Sam runs out. You're not actually going to let them cancel the All-Valley Tournament, are you, Dad? I, I don't know, Sam. Miyagi-Do got blamed for what happened to Miguel. If the tournament gets canceled, that sends a message to the whole valley that we're the bad guys. You can't let that happen. Daniel looks and nods. Scene switches to Miguel and Johnny. You need to tell them what karate means to you. That you started Cobra Kai to help kids like me. You know, taught us how to stand up for ourselves. Uh, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. What is that supposed to mean? Well, it's not even like you were going to fight anyway. Of course I was. Training with no contact is one thing. I can't risk you getting hurt again. That's not fair. I'm working hard. I'm getting better. For your own safety. I thought safety was for pussies. This is different. 
Yeah, you don't think I can do it? Carmen opens the door and sees Johnny and Miguel fighting. You almost hurt yourself with one kick. One kick. What do you think is going to happen in a real fight? Camera goes to Miguel, Carmen, and then back to Johnny after a second of silence. Look, you already proved you could win. And I need to prove it again. You said you'd always be on my side. Miguel walks away and into the apartment. Miguel. Carmen and Johnny look at each other. Carmen giving a sympathetic nod. Smile. Smile, not nod. Uh, Robbie and Tori at Juvenile uh, Corrections Probation Office. Robbie walks out of room to front desk. Hey, uh, I'm Robbie Keane. Desk lady. There's no desk lady. Fill out the Fill form. Out the form. <laughs> we'll call your name when a probation to... officer is ready to see you. <laughs> Robbie nods and walks away to sit down. Tori comes out and sees Robbie and stands up in anger, ready to fight her. Yeah, go ahead. They send you straight back to Juvie. Robbie and Tori stand silent. Robbie's hands and fists. Looks like we're in the same boat. Thanks to you for starting the fight. And you for finishing. Robbie and Tori stare at each other. It's not fair, you know. Everyone that has got to go back to normal. But here we are eating shit. What your girlfriend. Don't talk about Sam. Cheated on you. She made a mistake. Sam is a good person. Yeah. She sure acts like it. Just wait. She'll turn on you. Just like Miguel. You don't know what you're talking about. Then why are we both here? At least I know who I am. You're still pretending to be something you're not. Tori begins to walk away after she and Robbie stare for a moment. She turns back. Oh. In the section about home life? Just check off the stable. They don't care. They never come to check. Tori and Robbie have one last look. Tori leaves. Johnny and Carmen on the couch. I hope the juice is all right. I don't think it's expired yet. Carmen Carmen nods, trying to act like it's good when it's actually horrible. It's good. Thank you. You got it. I want to let you know. I appreciate you putting the health safety first. Yeah, a lot of good it did. Now the kid hates me. He's a teenager. If he's happy with you all the time, you're doing something wrong or something. You know, as well as I do that, you know as well as I do, that being a parent means making the hard choices for their own good. I just don't want to screw up things with Miguel like I screwed up things with Robbie. You've done so much for, for Miguel. You got him out of bed, out of the wheelchair. You made him smile again, and he won't forget that. Neither will I. Johnny and Carmen smile at each other. Johnny feeling her encouragement. I heard about the tournament. Yeah, who needs it anyway? You do. Believe me, a few months ago, I never wanted to hear the word karate again. I thought it was the reason Miguel got hurt. I blamed you. I was angry. You had a right to be. But it wasn't your fault. I see how much you care for Miguel. And I realize now you were just as hurt as I was. Johnny and Carmen stare into each other's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I may not want him to compete, but I know he won't get hurt again. Because you're his sensei. It's what you're meant to be. It's your strength, your calling. And there's other Miguels out there who need you in their corner. I know I'm the last person you expect to be telling you this, but you have to save the tournament. I don't know how I'm going to do that. We're doing what you do best. Fight. Johnny and Carmen share the moment. Johnny, ready to take on the tournament. The city council meeting. Mr. Carter, please, we need to move on. Oh, is there a Mr. Carter? <laughs> yeah, Daniel. Oh boy. Um, and now I'm hearing the city wants to bring manholes covers. You know what we called a manhole back in my day? Oh, a manhole. And that's just that. <laughs> Mr. Carter fades out, literally. 
camera pans to Daniel, Amanda, and Sam. Don't worry, Dad. You got this. Daniel smiles. Johnny enters. What are you doing here? Fighting for the All Valley. What about you? Are you going to read from your diary? There's nothing wrong with being prepared. Yeah, well, I don't need notes. I'll shoot from the hip. Daniel looks to Amanda. This is going to be a disaster. Boom, boom. Okay, next we will hear appeals for the cancellation of the All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament. Who would like to speak first? Johnny, Daniel, increase rise and walk to the front of the court. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm retired Army Captain John Kreese. Johnny and Daniel make eye contact. Thank you for your service. It was an honor to serve. Johnny sits <clears throat> back down. And I continue to serve right here in our community. Daniel stands pissed off. By teaching our children strength and discipline through karate. I was devastated to hear about the cancellation of the tournament because of the fight at the high school. Why are my students being penalized because of the uh, violence perpetrated by dojos like Miyagi-Do? Now, wait just one minute. Mr. LaRusso, please, it's not your turn to speak. I apologize, Councilwoman Roberts, but this man... Council person, Roberts. Crease makes eye contact with Roberts. Thank you, Captain Crease. Please continue. Johnny face palms. I think my colleagues here would agree that uh, all we want is the best for our students and our community. Cobra Kai's goal is to prepare the Valley's youth for the unfortunate realities of the real world. It's hard out there. I'm simply just preparing them to defend themselves. Councilperson Roberts, I'm sorry, but this guy is selling you a bad bill of goods. Just a few weeks ago, my students were injured by a bunch of his Cobra Kai's in an abandoned recreation facility. And who started that fight? If memory serves, your out of control daughter. Hey! You leave my daughter out of this, you piece of shit. Mom. Ma'am, please restrain yourself. Johnny laughs. Sam hangs her head knowing Chris is right. It's <laughs> funny that you... It's funny that you said that because uh, I've had to file a restraining order against her for physically assaulting me. Assault? Are you kidding me? Well, maybe I should make the call to the authorities. That won't be necessary. Motions for security. <laughs> oh, security, ma'am. Hey, do not. Do not touch me, okay? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. Ma'am? That man is a lunatic. <laughs> Council person Roberts, I assure you that I'm a positive influence on my students and the hundreds of students before them. Johnny Horse pops up. Horse shit, Your Honor, John Lawrence, Eagle Fan Karate. This man has po um sorry, watch watch. Oh, just keep going. Go. Okay. <laughs> this man has poisoned the minds of his students, and I should know I was one of them. Were we competitive? Sure. But it was all for good sport. This man is a thief and a liar. And he put a live cobra in my dealership. Boom, boom, boom. Enough. Sit down, all of you. Daniel, Johnny, and Kreese sit back down, front row seats together. It is clear that this karate tournament is causing division and rivalry in our community. You gentlemen have made an excellent case today as to why this tournament should not continue. Wait! Miguel walks to the podium, audience mumbling in the background. Sam looks on. My name is Miguel Diaz. I was in the school fight. I was the one that got kicked off the second floor. Thanks to Robbie. <laughs> you know, uh, I thought I was going to be paralyzed. I relearned how to stand. I relearned, <laughs> relearned how to walk. And I want the tournament to continue. Uh, we're very happy for your recovery, young man. But I'm afraid you don't understand. Yes, he does. Johnny, Daniel, Roberts in court looks. Sam walks down to the podium with Miguel. We're the ones getting hurt. We're the ones fighting. Our voices should matter the most. 
and we want a place where we can compete fairly and safely. Miguel and Sam share a moment and gently smile. When I first moved here, I was bullied, and I realized that there's no escape in it. There's always going to be a kid who wants to steal your lunch money, or give you a wedgie, or give you a swirly. A swirly? It's when you uh, dunk someone's head in the toilet and flush it. <laughs> Robert looks in confusion. Pretty funny, actually. Sensei. Miguel breathes. Instead of burying your heads in the sand, pretending that bullying doesn't exist, or that you can't just get rid, can just get rid of it, what you need to do is teach these kids to defend themselves. Physically and mentally. Because sometimes the scars you can't see are the ones that hurt the most. Daniel smiles and nods. Karate is about discipline. It's about inner strength. It's about confidence. Lessons that you can use for the rest of your life. Look, I don't know where I would be today or who I would be today if it wasn't for my sensei. Johnny's smiling. We don't need this tournament to do cool to do cool kicks or to sell tickets. We need to show the bullies of the world that we're not afraid. Chris looks up. It's called the All Valley because it's for everyone. To give everyone the chance to show what they can do, to fight, to become a champion. And we deserve that chance. Court approves. To be honest, I don't get the Valley's fascination with karate. But if it means that much to all of you, and you're willing to sign waivers stating that the city is not liable, then the All Valley Under-18 tournament is officially back on. Case closed. Yes. <laughs> and Miguel hug each other as the audience applauds. Daniel and Chris, Johnny, he meet each other when they all stand. I guess we all got where we wanted. But um, be careful what you wish for. Chris menaces away, leaving Johnny and Daniel, who have a moment looking at each other. Sam and Miguel walk over and hug Daniel and Johnny. Come here, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel and Sam at Miyagi Do. <laughs> Sam and Miguel are sitting in Miyagi's garden, drinking oh some sodas together and celebrating the All Valley. To the All Valley tournament. Right, yeah. Sam and Miguel, cheer and drink. <laughs> this place is crazy. What's the rock say? I don't know. My dad won't tell me. Or maybe he doesn't know. Well, it's a cool rock. All we have is vandalized park benches and regular boring rocks. You know, you're welcome to train here anytime. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a cool yard. Do you guys actually do karate here? Sam looks offended. It looks like breathing exercises. Oh, it's not badass enough for you? We train in junkyards and cement trucks. And I've trained in that pond over there. Oh, a pond. Not everything in miyagi though, is what it seems. Yeah, well. Sam playfully pushes Miguel. Miguel stands up. Okay, all right. You looking to take on the champ? <laughs> I seem to remember flipping you over on the ground with surprisingly little effort. Okay, well, let's see you do it again. Don't hold back. I wouldn't worry about it. Sam and Miguel spar gently and playfully. <laughs> Sam laughs. <laughs> okay. The, fr the flirting is out of control. Miguel throws a kick and Sam puts his, him in a hold. Face to face, mouth to mouth. Not you. Miguel strikes back, taking control in another move. Face to face, mouth to mouth. Got you. They share a moment. Aww. And then Robbie comes into the dojo and sees Miss Sam and Miguel in the holding of each other. Should have known. Sam and Miguel get out of the hold and then stand awkwardly seeing Robbie. Robbie, it's not what you think. Did you two get together the second I was gone or wait a week to make it look good? It's not like that. Robbie looks at Sam. Clearly, it is exactly what he thinks. Then stares at Miguel, who's also looking back at him. He then looks back at Sam. 
that are looking at each other in a triangle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> at least now I know why you stopped writing. I stopped writing because you never answered. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to write back in between getting my face busted in. I didn't know. Oh, you wouldn't have even cared even if you did know. It's not her fault. Stay out of this. I don't think I will. I was hoping you'd say that. Robbie goes to punch Miguel. Sam breaks in and blocks Robbie's hit. Pushes him back. Robbie, don't. They all stare at each other. Robbie panting in anger. You two deserve each other. He's damn right. Robbie leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so to see, but stays yeah, that's <laughs> Anyway, Johnny on the Facebook. Johnny sits down, looks at his computer while he drinks Coors Banquet. He hears a knock at the door. It's Carmen. Oh, hey. Hey, Johnny. Is it too late? No, no, come in. It's all right. Can I get you some juice or something? No, I got mine from last time. Um, uh, <laughs> where, what happened at the meeting? Ah, uh, you should have seen him. Hard on his sleeves, saying what needed to be said. He was a true champion. But don't worry, I didn't tell him he could compete again. I mean, I didn't even know he was going to be at the meeting. Believe me, I had nothing to do with that. Yes, you did. You had everything to do with that. Johnny and Carmen have a moment, <laughs> then make out. It's real <laughs> kung fu. Then the TV falls in the jagger. They take it to the bedroom. <laughs> Hashtag the team fades into crease, hanging up the All Valley poster in Cobra Kai. Ding, the door <laughs> opens. Robbie walking in. Sensei Crease. Crease smirks, <laughs> still staring at the wall. Bum, and Snake. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's my daughter you're talking about over there, Mr. Narrator. I'll thank you to watch your mouth. <laughs> 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 the oh end. my word! There were some. Uh, uh, that went oh, there were some real <laughs> talents, and some of us should not give us our uh, give up our day jobs, huh? <laughs> Gene, you, Gene, you should be like a movie trailer voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have a, I, I have a I have a movie trailer voice like twenty four seven. Sometimes my wife's like, you know, I'm like, pass me the butter. <laughs> Coming soon at the theater near you, and she's like, oh, give me a break. <laughs> But like oh, seriously, some of the young the young actors up there, you were amazing. Yeah, I mean, you guys were awesome. the oldies were good too. But like, I was super <laughs> impressed. Like, there's some scenes I literally thought it was like Miguel speaking to uh, talking to Sam and whatnot. Incredible. Thank you. <laughs> well done. By the guys. way, the, the whole chat is saying that Mariah sounds exactly like Sam. She does. Wow. She does. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uncanny. Uncanny. <laughs> She Incredible. got the like the tone and like even the voice right, so for sure. And yeah. Jet and Jess and Andrew look exactly like Robbie and Tori. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I got the exact same outfit. I tried slicking back my hair too. Right, <laughs> this is actually a lot like longer than it looks. You're uh, Robbie's brother or something. <laughs> I, I was like, man, I didn't know we were supposed to be in like you know full makeup and costume and hair and everything. That whole thing. I wanted to go full. Uh, yeah. Was that great. was awesome. I, I just, I'm, 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 I'm gonna giggle every time like Marty Cove talks from now on because I want to live <laughs> in a world where he's Jean Claude Van Damme and he's seriously pissed. Well done. You did a great job with that. Uh, I couldn't help but smile this whole time, even though I was supposed to be pissed off in this. Scene. I know. <laughs> yeah, same. Andrew's same. I just constantly smiling. I just can stop smiling. Some of you guys were making me laugh. I couldn't help it. I know. You, you were good, bro. Party. I was supposed to be mad right after but he couldn't and Drew, you were good you're you're a natural you're a natural as well yes. the narration was on that point. was really that good was though, huh? you, you know what though i mean narrators aren't supposed to let their personal bias like inject into <laughs> now, what part are you I was only telling you the writing a little bit I, I i'm looking at this and i'm like this was not in my script these words are not in my script <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> now you know Tung Fu, Tung Fu is the best thing I've heard. It really yeah. is. That's fantastic. I need that on a shirt. Tung Fu. Yeah. Uh, well yes. Done. Well, oh, we'll do that again for season four. Huh? 
Oh yeah. my god, that was <laughs> fun. Guys. Who's gonna be Terry? That's the question. <laughs> So, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> so really quickly, we got some uh, super chats. That I just want to read. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, talking straight with Nate says hello again. I'm on. Tro <laughs> this guy's always on Troll Patrol. You know, he's like, oh, yeah. Patrol he's, Patrol, I love that. he's on it. <laughs> uh, I feel like put it. I feel like Daniel putting all the Miyagi pictures on the walls. Maybe one day I might be on the panel. Um, uh -huh. We got. Wait, let me get Cooper guys studio back here. Uh, the Friar Pool Show. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm a music composition major and someone who's interested in show creating. Do any of you know how I could go about getting in contact with someone involved with Cobra Guy for questions? I got no idea. I wish I, I could myself. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no clue. Sorry. Uh, Wild Man Beyond. You guys did great. I want to join sometime. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, we were missing uh, someone today. The clerk or the, what was it the desk lady, the desk yeah. lady. So, yeah. uh, oh just a shout out to Security. uh david david couldn't make it he had work yeah but, um, david he, yes watch so party stepped in. thank you watch party for yeah, thank you the he last minute to be your narrator <laughs> yeah i could have sworn that we had like an entire conversation about desk front man oh, well, we front did. desk man did we? yeah we did. We did. i thought we did <laughs> uh, what happened <laughs> yeah I Wild think, Man okay. Beyond said Gene said him more like Chosen than Crease. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I know you. Wait, Gene, Gene, do the oh, person to Chosen. Oh, that, that, would be, that would be bad. Oh, man. I'm like... It, it would the... probably be the same voice, you know, and, and, and besides... <laughs> yeah, just with the accent. Yeah. You keep for your correction. Oh, <laughs> not bad. The... The the angry French man sounds more like the um the Pacific Northwestern guy with the fake Japanese accent than he does. The, yeah. yeah. And the thing about angry Frenchmen is that you can make fun of us as much as you want, and there won't be any political incorrectness because no one cares. We don't care. So you can <laughs> culturally mock me. It's all good. So the, go go ahead. Yeah. But now if I do chosen, I'm I'm in trouble. I, I don't want to do chosen <laughs> for that one reason. Yeah, the whole time he sounded like Batman to me. I don't know why. It like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you want to kill me? <laughs> oh my god! I think some of us have like shown, you know, just in case, um, if Cobra Kai, if any of the cast members ever get sick during ADR, yeah. one of us could step in. <laughs> <have a> voiceover. <laughs> the Absolutely. Hey, I'm gonna be first in line to watch Guest Sensei smack the shit out of Crease because you are the <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Accepting Courtney. That was perfect. Thank oh, you. Man. I appreciate that. Well, <laughs> Sorry, Kirk. <laughs> I'm you. Oh, man, I'm getting ready for it. <laughs> so so slap. Six yes. feet apart. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Sam's Epic fun. Vlog says, hi, you guys are my favorites. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, that was, that was really cool. Uh, Team Hawk says, Sorry, I'm late. No worries, you could always rewatch it. Smallest of the small, I'll play Hawk if you do this again. Yeah, there was no Hawk in this, no. he was like, it's Unfortunate, yeah, there was none. Watch yeah, that's, no crazy. That, that's, that's actually pretty crazy to think about it. Hawk is completely inexistent in this. Uh, well, he's, he's there, but he's yeah. a glare, yeah. but there's no dialogue yet. No, yeah, he didn't have any, yeah, he didn't have any lines. What wow. do you guys think of Robbie not being in how many? What was he missing in two episodes? Yeah, I think so. Season episode six and seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I feel like Robbie got kind of robbed. Funny enough, in this <laughs> no, pun intended. Uh, no pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> of, of some screen time. How about Tanner? There we go. Tanner got robbed of some screen time. Oh. Well, Tanner, um, Robbie wasn't in. Um, he wasn't in two episodes of season one either. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Attached. His picture was in the first episode, though. I mean, well, yeah, his picture, <laughs> but that, that, yeah, but not him. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he gets paid for that picture. Does he get residuals <laughs> for the picture on the fridge? <laughs> Imagine that. That's, that's a question. To, that's a question. But that, I, the, who was it? Somebody did like a breakdown of everybody's screen time, like to the second, and I'm like, man, I am a freaking obsessed fan but i'm not that obsessed yeah I'm, yeah exactly like, yeah I, I got limits yeah. as well that, that, right, that's, yeah. uh, that's, <laughs> that's, commi that's commitment right there but, yeah but kudos to whoever spent that's all that time yeah, yeah figuring that out because that's amazing oh yeah
Were oh, Johnny yeah, and done. Daniel close Johnny, together? Johnny or? Close. Yeah. Um, it was as as of the end of se- it was as of the end of season two, and I think Johnny and Daniel were like twenty minutes apart. But I have a feeling if they did it again after season three, that they're probably damn near equal now because Daniel was is oh. present a lot more in season three than Johnny is. Mm-hmm. So Johnny had his own episode. It. Yeah. Episode it, one, it, 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 well, and <laughs> Daniel has his own episode here. So I think they've kind of balanced out now. So yeah. Well, and Shamun and Mariah, that that scene, that romantic scene, I could barely watch it. It was like it was so good when <laughs> like the, the chemistry was like, oh, I'm not watching it. It was like you were so it, happened. Good. it was super <laughs> like kind of romantic and almost cringy because it was so the chemistry was really good. The narration <laughs> made that scene what it is. Let's Sorry, be honest. I, I didn't mean to that, that, that made it so much better than it was. It, it the reduced the cringe. <laughs> And really, I didn't mean to put you on the spot in front of thousands of people. (laughs) But thank you. That means a lot, man. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Well done. Well, and Drew's poor TV, you know, just, yeah. just slammed him right into it. It's gone. Yeah. It's like a TV in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Drew, how many people are uh, live right now? We have 300 us. people. Do you guys like want to maybe take some questions for a bit? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's only two o'clock in the morning here in France, so it's we're good. <laughs> Is it really? Let's, let's yeah, get the course banquet for the week. For. Like you said, no <laughs> it's one cares. Here. I mean, uh, Jean, it's only eleven there. Uh, no one, no one, no one cares yeah, about three, France. Six so. seventeen here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's the spirit. You said it first. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm all about Binter. I love Jean-Kirk. Well, Hello. I have a question for you guys. What was your favorite? Um, part about this episode in particular uh um, the, the commit the, maybe the committee meeting when amanda gets taken out basically exiled from the, the committee <laughs> meeting and the security that guards was a long out. honestly I, I, like, I like the most is the robbie tory scene um when they encounter it i, I, I like yeah, that, that more than scene. i thought it would Mm. My, mine would be Chris, and I'm not saying it because those were my lines, but because <laughs> I feel like the uh, the dialogues are so right on, so good. The just the, the performance is ju- so incredible that I actually buy it. I buy that Chris is no longer a psycho, is no longer a threat, and he's really just part of the community. Is just a good man, and that's all credits to the the script and the execution is just incredible. Like I watched the episode several times, and every time, I'm like, yeah, man, I, I would have him as a babysitter. You could babysit my kids. <laughs> I like well, Miguel seeing Robbie again ever since the accident when they all reunited. Yeah, that was quite intense. Yeah, that, that, that was, was an intense cool. scene. Uh, yeah, like, but... Robbie had no empathy in what he put in what he did to Miguel. He just kind of went, care. "All right, I'm gonna do what I did to this guy again." <laughs> yeah, you showed no mercy like right that. What if Sam didn't <laughs> defend him? <laughs> the, the whole thing that Robbie is like, so did you guys get, you know, get together immediately after I was arrested? No, his ass was in a coma. What is wrong with <laughs> <laughs> That's a blur moment. A point. <laughs> they overshadowed that part. Yeah, that's right? a great point. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a meme. You know, you could actually make them to a meme. Just, just that scene. Oh, uh, His my ass favorite, was in the coma. Right. My, my, my favorite part about the episode <laughs> sure is um, the committee meeting too, <laughs> but it's ba- it's specifically Johnny and Daniel's reactions to everything that's going on. Like jo- not even their words, Johnny laughing yeah. at Amanda. I love he loves bit. her so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Daniel's face when Johnny says Eagle Fang and Johnny's face <laughs> yeah. when Daniel says there was a cobra in the dealership oh, and just yeah, those things. Awesome. <laughs> and oh, yeah, the reactions to just the yeah. ridiculousness is great. And the swirly. <laughs> and swirly. Yes. Yeah. You, oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You oh, can't man. see Daniel's face. He's behind Sam. But I oh, cannot yeah. even imagine what Ralph did <laughs> to react to that line. You can't see it. Oh, no. 
I, I, mean, I just the I, fact I, that Johnny I, stands up to add his bits about the swirling yeah, is just it, priceless. And, and Miguel's and making it, like the biggest point about the tournament, like getting yeah, one yeah. back, like this and that, and then yeah, the swirly comes in just out there. <laughs> <laughs> total Miguel sensei, like I, I was winning. Around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's so so yeah. that speech was really good from Miguel. That's probably one of my favorite parts. That's pretty good. Yeah. Without being biased, I think from this episode, that scene as well, just Miguel's just Miguel. Like you, you cannot not love the character when he does stuff like that. He's just so true to himself, despite like what happened to him. And you know, I just love that about him. Yeah, yes. and I, I do have to say that um, Mary Mouser is obviously still doing Curly Girl because oh my god, her hair in this episode is gorgeous. <laughs> just like to die for. I love it. Really? Yes. Oh God, yes. It's not as nice as your avatar. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, everyone meet Big Boob Brie, and you no, can no, no, ask no, no, me no. who drew her. I was only talking about the hairdo, just the hairdo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> big Boob Brie. Oh, big Boob Brie. There it is. Yeah, right. That's, That's, a, tongue twister. Twister. That's a tongue twister right there. Hashtag. Everyone who draws her, they get like successively bigger and perkier every time. And I'm going to be like the cover of a DC comic here pretty quick. I, I, wow. I, 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 yeah, it, it's going to happen. Superhero status. Right. Oh, man, I can only imagine the faces of the 12 years old live right now on the comments. Yeah, I'm like, like a young tra traumatized for Wait, life. Anyone... Oh. Traumatized for life. Right. <laughs> On another uh, note, my favorite part was um, probably when Daniel says uh, council person, I mean, council woman Roberts, and Chris is like, council person Roberts. Yeah, I love that. Uh, yeah. PC culture, yeah. So, yeah, I cool love that. And then the Please same thing out. happened with Aiden Schlossberg, where at some point he had a, a tweet about <laughs> yeah. mer person as opposed to mermaid. Yeah. Um, oh, and, oh. And there that, was like oh, a whole just... thing on Twitter about mer person, which became a hashtag after that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do have to say, as a card-carrying feminist, screw Councilwoman Roberts. We do not get that petty. We really don't. <laughs> the little mer person. It's got a ring yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we got any questions from the chat. Uh... I don't really see any questions. Have we lost yeah. someone? Is the roster all complete? Yeah, we're full. No, we're all, all ten there. of us are there. All ten of us okay. are here. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, they're Sorry, Drew. I'm Sorry, looking Drew. for questions, but if you guys have any questions or something, you guys could. I'm just trying to see if we got any, but don't. Um, I did see a lot of people asking if we can do the whole season. Oh gosh. <laughs> really? Or do the fight scenes. <laughs> well, if we do. We will rehearse. Oh, we someone did. Yeah, 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 someone did ask what episode would you do next? Um, we talked about it. Yeah. All seasons yeah, one, uh, combined, or just season three? All seasons. I just think they're just asking generally what episode uh, oh, general. we would do next. Yeah, let's do the finale. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh my gosh! gosh. We're well, not we're fighting. Oh, we're there'd be more time be waiting most of that. I <laughs> hate yeah. you, Dad. <laughs> okay, so the, the Robbie, season finale. <laughs> but I think season finale. <laughs> uh, what would I what would it be? Season a season lot song. of a lot of me and Drew and Jean Kirk like grunting and groaning. Like really, Bobby, I won't fight you. Oh yes, you will. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, and you will. Wait, Jean, you know why that's hilarious? You you sound like you're trying to do like a Clint Clint Eastwood imp uh, impression. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Well, yeah, Martin Cook is from the accent. same generation. I'm thinking of the you know, eyebrows and the Western. look he does and match that voice to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, someone day. someone asked in the comments, "Can we talk about the ending shots of each episode?" Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay, wait, no, no. The ending shot where Chosen comes in, though, like that is the best ending. There. Yeah. In my oh, opinion. Daniel oh, Daniel-san. Like, oh. Flashback to that episode ends. That one's pretty good. Cool. I was going to yeah. go to bed after that episode, but then I saw that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> How can you sleep on that? <laughs> it, it, you're just about to wake up and uh, you just see Chosen and then you wake up. Oh. I yeah. know. <laughs> right? Daniel-san. <laughs> <Andrew's laughs> Yeah, yeah, and the beginning shot of this episode is pretty cool too, where it's like all mm -hmm, the bouncing That's one, of my the, the one, one to the other, and the different philosophies. And 
Yeah. yeah. My What's favorite, your favorite, Andrew? Oh, sorry. I was gonna say my my favorite in shot is uh, uh, is is the bow. I mean, there's just the, no. The bow is. Oh up. yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that gave me chills. Oh God, I was crying by that point. Oh, as, so we We were too. <laughs> yeah, as soon as Johnny walks around the yeah. corner, as the beat drops on in the yeah. air tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So cool. That was amazing. I know. That was so good. That, that was insane. Can can I just mention this? What about <laughs> if in season four, episode one, it starts like right where it left off, and literally right, after they after they bow, they immediately start bickering and, and arguing like who's yeah, going yeah, to so that. <laughs> right? That would be perfect. I would say fifty percent chance that'll happen. Yeah, I say oh, it's a 50, 50, I'll yeah. take it. If it's that's say that, not that's, the cold open of season four, I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I, have to, I have to say okay. that we need to go back to good old Johnny, though. He needs to be a loose cannon. And I, I would, I, I could see season four, like Johnny not waking up because he's drunk again. And he has to, you know, come across as the, the, the sensei, but he's still, he's still good old Johnny. And he, you know, <laughs> I could see that happening in season four. Who's Interesting. I see the exact opposite because now he has both Carmen and Daniel all up in his shit, making sure he behaves himself. That is true. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's that a good is point. true. Yeah. Because I see Daniel getting pissed. He's he got, shows up to the dojo. Oh, oh God, sure. yes. <laughs> he's got yeah, he's at at now. Now as well, so it's a bit difficult. And yeah. yet, ninety-five percent of the jokes that land and all the the humor right. comes from that, from rock and roll Johnny. And no one, real, no one really wants the, to to get the the goody two shoes, Johnny. You know, like he's, you know, it's like it's it's fine for five minutes, and then we want to go back to rock and roll Johnny, right? Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Gene. Yeah. I, 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 what's cool about his character is that like he's like growing as a person, but he still, you know, is Johnny. So, yeah. um, like you said, like he'll like be good, and then it'll go back to him like making a joke or something. Which yeah. is, um, I, I mean, I think that's just part of who he is because he's growing as a person too. So he's like improving as a. But you kid. don't want him to grow too fast, you know? Yeah, and yeah, I mean, right. he's taking his time, and then he'll like. It's, it's kind of like Jack Sparrow's in uh, Pirates Four. He's no longer Jack Sparrow's because he's just <laughs> he's too good, and that just doesn't work. You need the rum. You need to, you know, you need the whole thing. So I don't. I don't want Johnny ever to go straight. I, right. I want these two, and this has been like in my head since the end of season of one. I want Johnny and Daniel as roommates in a nursing home in their nineties, <laughs> still arguing with each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We need yeah. to live for those moments that. of their bickering. It is Absolutely. just the best. Right. Yeah, and they're like smacking really cool. each other with their canes. And, and yes, yeah. I can oh, see yeah. it. I can see it. So, yeah. 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 Brianna, I think in one of your tweets, you uh, called them beautiful mess or something like this. That was a that was a nice oxymoron, you know? <laughs> beautiful oh, they, mess. They, they, they both are. I, I mean, they're for both sure. absolutely beautiful men and they're infants and... um. Yeah, yeah, they're a mess. So yeah, yeah it works and together. They, they, they need strong women by their sides for sure. Oh, they got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amanda, really keeping them in check. Yeah. That's I, I don't want that Amanda's slap. Character. Oh, man. Yeah, Amanda totally keeps Daniel in line and just like calls him out. Like <laughs> the restaurant scene with like the date, which is like, oh, okay, we're doing that might be are. my favorite. Yeah. That is my yeah. favorite. At the Mexican scene. restaurant. That's the one of the oh my thing. god. Yeah, yeah guess and say and uh, Amanda is gonna <laughs> Uh, keep someone else at check. Uh, Chris with a nice yeah. slap in next uh, episode. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> She's coming all the way to France for you, Chris. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, you just called him Chris. If we ever all meet, that's the first thing guest center can do. Just slap Gene. Says <laughs> it's so Jean. nice to meet you. <laughs> Game over. Dislocated jaw. <laughs> you can be a game already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy do we still get a few minutes drew um yeah we could, we could go for yeah. however long you guys want to go here's someone um hang a uh, uh, jedi miyagi appropriate name uh <laughs> wants us to do a uh, pulpo for the restaurant scene yes yes yes, yes. yes. i would be love good. to do that i would love to do that <laughs> <laughs> you gotta write it down you gotta write it down white belt rookie <laughs> mistake Hey, Brianna, the fact that you just used the expression uh, Jedi Ghost Miyagi, 
a week from now, there'll be something coming out. And um, yeah, I think you're onto something. You, that's <laughs> that was well, that's not me. That's 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 their the username. username. The username. That's their username. Oh, all right. Okay. Miyagi. I thought you were being prophetic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's just coincidence, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm right. stupid. That's a that's good them one. Being that's a good prophetic. <laughs> I wonder what you're doing, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, Gene. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Gene. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 see, but it'll it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be for everyone Probably, to enjoy. I'm guessing Mr. Miyagi comes back as a force ghost to <laughs> control. That'd be cool. I mean, why not? That's right. Oh. Three, write this down. S say no more. I'm getting goosebumps. Write it down. It's like a thing now. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> It's like a meme. Uh, Gotta write it down. You think they'll ever I'm, I'm surprised I haven't seen that one. Black belt sort of thing. Yeah. I was at a restaurant. Um, I remember like we were it was a bunch of us and the waitress uh wasn't writing down the order, so it just made me it made me think of that scene. I was gonna I was gonna even say like I was gonna be like, Are you sure you don't want to write that down? But I didn't do it. <laughs> I think we've I think, that would you really know, funny. I think we've all been there at a restaurant at one time and, and someone didn't write it down. They got something wrong. You know, like didn't somebody, didn't Amanda not want corn or something like that? I forget what it was. <laughs> yeah. She didn't want no, corn. No sour cream. No it sour cream. cream. Yeah. yeah, it was corn and sour cream. Yeah. Yeah. And no, no green hey, stuff. You didn't, no green sour stuff cream. Yeah. Like, you, got you didn't ask for, but. Polo tacos. The polo tacos. <laughs> no polo tacos. Hey guys, I, I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be sentimental, but I'm looking at you guys like this, and I'm thinking, okay, you get the Marvel fan base, you get the Star Wars fan base. Where do we ever see people like this, like creators, just coming together, enjoying each other, yeah, and enjoying each other, enjoying ourselves like this on a Saturday <laughs> night, on a Friday night? <laughs> it's just insane, isn't it? Like we, you know, it's just I yeah. love it. Other it's, fandoms. It's pretty unique. Other other and it's all fandoms. It's supernatural. It was Stargate when I was in it. Other fandoms want to rip each other apart. Yes, for status and it's nonsense and it's bullshit and yes. it's pointless. I love you guys. Same. I, I can't imagine <laughs> like fandom wars. It's Guess just I upload that hate video. Then what's the? Right, and, and and he just deletes the hate video. Oh, that's <laughs> right, <laughs> cancel. <laughs> right, if anybody had a diss track in progress, you might want to. You know, yeah. Just stop wow. it. Yeah. yeah, no, this is awesome. It's awesome being able to talk to other people in the community exactly. and bounce ideas off of one another and see things from different perspectives. And it just it's really especially cool. nowadays we need some uplifting, you know, uplifting stuff. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we all have our roles that we fill. We all do different things. I could never do the scene recreations, <laughs> you know, but oh, I yeah, can sit sure. and watch episodes and dig out references that the big three literally didn't even realize they put in there. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you know, every, everybody's got their strengths and weaknesses, and I think we all complement each other real well. That's Absolutely. Awesome. For sure. Well, well put. There's, there's nice balance. Yeah. yeah, I see what you did there. See yeah. what does yeah. not exist good, in this good, good, dojo, good. though. Thank you, Sensei. Right. <laughs> we, we, we may not have much of the focus thing going on, but we got the balance handled. <laughs> we got, we got, we got it. Yeah. Right. And I, I, I don't want to start talking about the ones who are missing because I don't want to make enemies. But yeah, Peter from Cobra Kai Companion should be here, and David, David, we miss you. Yes, Big time. Peter yeah. is at work, unfortunately. Mailmen, you know, nor the hail, sleet, snow, dark of night. <laughs> wow. Arctic, man. polar, black. They are superheroes, man. <laughs> they really are. Yes. They really are. They're out there. <laughs> oh, yes. wow. <laughs> yes, and Peter is a superhero all around. So he is. Um, I, I do wish he was here with us. Um, if we ever, If we ever do an episode, oh, my God, he's got to play Chosen. There's just no. Well, he would definitely. He would say yes without even without doubt. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. And, and he he worships Yuji, so that would be like the, the most. Is amazing. is Karate Kid Part Two his favorite film as well? It uh, no. It's no. his. I I think it's it's it might be his favorite yours, of the yours, trilogy. It's my favorite movie of all time. Peter's favorite movie of all time is Back to the Future. Wow. 
Wow. Right. It's my favorite movie. That sense is my favorite so, as well. Franchise, yeah. I yeah. think there was a survey at some point to ask Cobra Kai fans what their non Karate Kid Cobra Kai favorite film is, and Back to the Future came on top. Mm -hmm. Those two franchises are really just like companion pieces, you know. They they go right. together. The the cross generational. Did I say it right? You know, like yes. uh, Doug Brown, Marty, different generation mm -hmm. and their best friends. Those friendships that like transcend time. Just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Right, and I'm over here. My favorite non Karate Kid movie is Stargate. Oh <laughs> right, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that a show as well, right? Like oh the, yes, oh yes, Stargate yeah. SG One also SG uh, One, <laughs> a second favorite TV show of all time, Stargate SG One. Yeah, it was always like Stargate and X Files in the nineties. It was, mm -hmm. it was that was that was big. Yep. So raise your hand if Back to the Future if you're, is your second favorite film after Karate Kid. <laughs> I didn't really oh, like wow. it. I never put it in my like top five or anything. I, I mean, there's so many. It's so hard to choose. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's the reason I play guitar, actually. It makes my way too old to disclose my age heart happy to see you kids raise your hands. I cannot even <laughs> yeah, tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen Back to the Future for a really long time. I'd have to watch it again. But behind, I could go like anywhere from I absolutely adore Rocky to like I have to <laughs> oh, Rocky. Oh, great. So like all like a pretty wide range, but like Pretty Woman is pretty close. Ro all the Rock movies, and then all, like everything John Hughes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Notice how, notice how all. Oh, the great there we go. Stuff. Yeah. That's so cool, yes. dude. Oh, Rocky! I vintage, saw it. vintage. Look at this. <laughs> no way, versus Rocky. Notice what BKD? Sorry, what'd you say? I was saying notice how some of the greatest franchises of all time came from the 80s, you know? I mean, oh yeah. Karate oh, yeah. Kid, Back to the Future, I mean, just to name a few, you know? So, and also mm -hmm. the John Hughes movies and all that stuff, so yeah. I oh mean, yeah, that, I was so happy last sure. time. Do you remember Sensei last time when the uh, the younger crowd were saying that they actually knew John yes. Hughes? We, we were yes. like, we were getting emotional. Andy was one of the <laughs> first people to mention that, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, yeah. So I, I was like, wow, this this gives me hope for that the new made generation. My day last time. Yeah, yeah, everyone was like, oh, we, we have hope, there's hope. <laughs> this is because <laughs> the 80s are the best era ever. The only thing yeah. I have ever what or will ever agree with Raymond, Raymond on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do like 90s music, era actually. ever. 90s music, yeah. 80s music is good. Uh, John Hughes, though, he was such a genius. Pretty in Pink is like. Pretty in Pink. Breakfast yeah. Club. Ferris Bueller. Ferris Bueller. Uh, St. Elmo's Fire. Yes. What a perfect Fire. trilogy. Yes. What a perfect trilogy. No one uh, knows about that one. St. Elmo's Fire is great. Yeah, an entire career out of Classic angsty movies. teenagers that have exactly. sex and smoke exactly. and drink. One theme. And yep. those movies, I, I used to live in Texas. This is where I studied. And blockbuster videos on Friday nights, you could not oh. find those movies. They were sold out every single Friday night. Uh, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned Blockbuster for, for you I, young, I young I out there. Blockbuster. For those of you who had never had the Blockbuster experience, it's uh, you missed out, man. Unfortunately, that was mm -hmm. a great time. That was oh, the best Friday, Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, New I releases of Blockbuster. Oh, going back to the 80s would be so cool. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot in the UK. We had a lot of blockbusters, but like, like again, they went as well. But uh, I just miss the nostalgia getting popcorn, like yeah. signing more film you want to get, spend an hour in there looking for a film. Like, oh, right. like yes, oh, it's not like it. the yeah. difference now with Netflix, you're just like scrolling, scrolling. Like, no, I want to be in there looking, right. picking up different so objects. Sure. Exactly, right. it's so different. It's like a different thing when you're actually like going through the shelves trying to find that video and you're like oh there's the cover oh crap there's no yeah, yeah. 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 exactly <laughs> the struggle was real no yeah, one knows was. about that <laughs> so, uh, john, john hughes was blockbuster friday night sleepover like everybody <laughs> yes. oh yeah yes. for sure oh man weird Brian's science have time. you guys seen the weird yes i've seen yes. it i was gonna mention that yeah. weird science i haven't seen it but i adore kelly lebrock she's like my number one inspiration for modeling so i need to watch that movie though all right yeah Yes, absolutely. She's British. She's British. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drew, we got any any more questions? Also, spaceballs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
I'm, not good one. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> Keep not the line. Assholes. Yeah. Oh, Spaceballs the flamethrower. Spaceballs the cereal. Spaceballs the lunchbox. Oh. I'm I've been waiting for Cobra Kai the flamethrower. I'll be honestly. Yeah. <laughs> flame it's only a matter yeah. of time. Yeah. Bonsai it's Kai. Funny. Have everything else. Bonsai Kai. I don't know who Jonah Hill is, but Freddie says you sound like him. You don't know who Jonah. You don't know who Jonah Hill is. Wait, Jonah Hill. Who's Jonah? Twenty one like, Jump Street. Yeah, He's like a lesser version of Seth Rogen, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't watch I've movies. been told that. I think you do it to the I think I think you sound like Nicholas Nick Ni- 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 Cage. Nicholas Cage. No way. No way. Not oh, Nick, I'm, I'm, not cool, I'm not cool enough to be Nick Cage. Come on. Right. Actually, <laughs> Drew, I mean. think Super Bad is on Netflix. You can watch that. Uh, I just Hill saw that movie. recently. Oh, that's great. Hilarious. Yeah, Drew, um, you got to look up who Jonah Hill is. For sure. <laughs> yeah, do. I'm surprised I don't, you don't know him. I don't really watch Nick like. Lovin. Too, I, I rewatch my favorite movies. I don't really watch like too many. <laughs> like standalones. Like, I like franchises Back to the Future, Star Wars, Indiana Jones. I don't really. I don't know. There you go. That's another good. Oh, can't forget Star Wars being a huge franchise as well, man. That's that's in, that's a monster that is. Cobra Kai did what Star Wars couldn't with the seat with the bringing it back for sure. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. With the exception of Mando, I think they got Mando right. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm yeah. He did such a great job with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, Mando is amazing. Pretty good. Yeah. But you, you don't get Mendo. You don't have Mendo if you don't get all the mess that came before. Uh, so <laughs> you need Kathleen Kennedy to screw <laughs> up a little bit. Right, but somehow you got Filoni and John Favreau to redeem the whole thing. You know, there. Somehow you've got Rogue One coming out in the middle of all true. that nonsense that That's was true. everything Rogue else. Love it. Love it. Yeah, but- <laughs> Anyone here prequel fan? Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I am. Oh, well, episode three. Call Saul. Episode better three. Call Saul is a great freak. Yeah, bro. Better Call Saul is awesome. It's a Breaking Bad. I don't know if, if you, you have any Breaking Bad fans. If you're looking for Star Wars prequel fans, I plead the fifth, which is to say, <laughs> yeah. no way in hell. I hate those movies. They never should have been made because they rewrote mm. canon. And y'all know how I feel about canon. So. <laughs> in my opinion, the first, A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back and Jedi are are the only real Star Wars movies to me. That's just the way I've always been. You can't see me, but I'm bowing. Absolutely. (laughs) I mean, let's be honest. Let's be real. Yeah. It it was just a cash. The prequels were a cash grab, and it worked. Yes. Guys, do you know why the uh, our fandom works? Because we don't talk about Star Wars. Star Wars is like the best way to get everyone divided. You know, you get the three yes. yeah, 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 yeah. people go, I from love Last Jedi. Jedi. No, I hate Last Jedi. And it's the end of it. So let's stick to no. it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we also yeah, love each other so we can get past it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Well said. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look look how much I love, you know, watch party with everything he says about Daniel. Four cents. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a LaRusso fan. No. But okay, but like Sam is like, you know, it's not what it looks like when they're <laughs> literally about to start making out. Like, <laughs> like always covering up. Then the next day they make out. The big thing. Yeah, then the next morning they're back at it. Like it was how it was. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shamoon, is that my drum in your pocket? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Believe- <laughs> that was a beautiful. Sh- Shamoon is blushing. <laughs> Shamoon is blushing. <laughs> Brianna, you did it. It takes a lot for Shamoon to, to blush like this. Uh, let me tell you. Wow. Oh, I just smile a lot, man. There's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, <laughs> you blushed and you bite you were biting your your upper lip. That's a sign. I wow, I wasn't going to hear that, Gene. Man. That's going in some other direction, man. <laughs> yeah, people are not liking us comparing Star Wars and Cobra Kai. They're saying it's stupid. So. Oh, really? Oh, I'm not even sure. reading the chat. Like, I don't know Star Wars, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm ah. Ah, uh, see, Watch Party's totally right about Sam and Daniel. See, you have a fan right there. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Justin, just Justin, uh, mentions Gremlins. Did you guys hear yes. that they're doing a Gremlins with Ming Na and BD Wong in it? Uh, I heard yeah. about it. I did not. I might be here to temper your the origins of the Mogwai. I'm so sorry, it's animated series. It's a cartoon, right? You know that. Well, I don't care. It's BD Wong and oh, Ming Na. Cool. 
I yeah, mean, and, it, and it's, it's set in Shanghai in 1936. <laughs> so it's a prequel. And we'll like, get yeah, to yeah, see yeah. how Mugwai was sold to, you know, and ends up in uh, Chinatown somewhere in the U.S. So By it's the, the way, whole thing. You, you mentioned B.D. Wong. You, you remember he's in part two of Karate Kid, right? From oh, Peace. yeah, absolutely. Because okay. yeah. I was always like, that's the Jurassic Park guy. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. Right. That's 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 the uh, one line that launched his entire career right there. <laughs> yeah, bring, yeah. Oh, bring your friend. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I do have uh, one uh, quiz. Quiz question for everyone. A Cobra Kai, I mean, a Karate Kid related question. Um, there is a song that is played in both Back to the Future franchise and Karate Earth Kid. Earth Angel. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, no, I know. Oh, that was quick. I thought I heard that. It's, it's the right? same song. It's different versions, though. Yeah, different versions. Different okay, versions. Drew, uh, you're, I, I'm, I'm on you now. Um, next one. An actor that is in both True. franchises as well. Oh, in Back to the Future. Future. Of, of course, yeah. Ali Mills. Yeah. All right. Shamoon, one point. Oh, yeah, Drew, one nice. point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. We should do a quiz night. Yeah. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> play play along. Along. I'll bring the beer. By the you way, talk what? about it. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, if, if we're going to do a Karate Kid Cobra Kai <laughs> quiz night, somebody oh, other than me write the questions because I want to freaking play. Yeah. <laughs> that actually sounds like but fun. We don't want, we don't want you knowledge. to play. <laughs> if you play, you win. That's no fun. Give us a chance. <laughs> Give us a chance. <laughs> I have run 17 trivia nights. I want to play. Come on. It's only but fair. I've, I've seen point. the level. It's, Not it's, to play. it's, it's so insane. We have the theme of our next uh, big happy family live stream now. Is it's going to be a trivia night. Wow. I think that's, that's a fantastic fun. idea. I really, that would really be fun. Yeah. Test oh. our knowledge, test our might. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with that reference. There I think you that's go. A fantastic Mortal idea. Combat. Oh, that trailer, yeah. by the way, that was insane. Like, that I don't know if cool. anyone likes Mortal Kombat. I think Peter's a big a Mortal yeah, Kombat it's, fan. Uh, it's not PG-13, though. The trailer itself was rated R. So. It's a restricted trailer, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I well, love it, dude. I think, yeah. sub, give me some Sub-Zero. Give me some... Dude, he's my know, favorite. Sport. And Joe Get over here! Trailer, right? Oh, oh my dude. Word. Finish him. He's excited. So I'm nervous. Because, well, you what? know, I, I'm still like, you know, they, they had Raul Julia for Street Fighter, and it yeah. still became what it was. So mm. Yeah, yeah, good I'm point. nervous. One of the best actors of his generation, for sure. And I hate that that was his final role before he passed. I know, it like, should have been the Adam's Family the values. Adam's Family? Yes. Yeah. Wow, Adam's Family. Man, I could be yeah. talking like this for hours, but uh, we just need to make sure that we don't extend the, the welcome. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, can, we can go however long you guys want to go. Maybe I probably have to hop Well, you're, you're the DJ, know. so. Last time was like two hours. That was pretty quick. I just love it. It turns into like a podcast right after we're done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I've, I'm off work, and all I've got to do is I've got to finish um, building a, a stream overlay because ours is getting kind of stale. Mm. There was someone up here that said, why aren't you asked, answering my question? But then Aaron Oh, Craig Chosen is, One's in the chat. Oh, Chosen up, One. Chosen One. Chosen you one. said, hey, Bonsai. <laughs> Um, oh, Aaron, Aaron Kreis that. asked BKD for you. Um, oh. like to see Rambo in John Kreese's flashbacks in Vietnam in season four. I thought oh, of that. Yeah, that's oh, wow. that movie. would be pretty cool. Yeah, that they did. That would be. Uh, that, that, yeah. that gets me. They could that use the lead team for that as well. I would be worried about that because I mean. Oh, okay, let uh, TB3, our beloved Schlieldwitz, they give zero shits for the fourth wall, and we all know that. But they've already given us Easter eggs of another Ralph movie, another Billy movie. Now, if they drop the character of John Rambo, who was played by Sylvester Stallone, who played <laughs> Rocky, which was the original inspiration for the Karate Kid. Yep. It, yeah, I think that's just kind of a Full little cycle. bit too, too much of a pretzel. Like, yeah, yeah, and then I mean, and, and to add that they, they Patrick Swayze is canon in a universe where Ralph Macchio is Daniel Larusso. 
Yeah, that would <laughs> screw a lot of things up. It just <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it too hard because it really will give you a migraine. No. You, you know the part? <laughs> Brianna, you remember the part in, uh, what was that, season two where Raymond is talking to Johnny in the Home Depot place? And, he, and he's talking about like Caddyshack and all the 80s stuff. The uh -huh. funny thing is, I mean, if you want to make a real deep connection, Caddyshack with uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Yep. Right? And then Rodney Dangerfield was in Back to, Back school, to school with William Zabka. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I dig a little too deep sometimes, but I was oh, like, that ah. makes sense. No, I, okay. I, I think so. I think so. Oh, and I think they repeated it visually with um, Aftermath because I swear to God, they cast that guy for the news show just because he looked like Rodney Dangerfield. That's possible. Yeah. Hmm. I could see something like that. He's like identical. <laughs> also, then, William Zapka was on Johnny's picture. So apparently there is a William Zapka Oh, yeah. They know. Yeah. <laughs> universe now. Yeah, the prop master forgot to to airbrush Billy Zabka out of the top corner of one of the pictures. Really? Yeah. My assumption is it was just that he was doing a photographer. So in this universe, William Zabka was the photographer. All there we right. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just I can't believe that they made those. Have oh we lost God, those... the the young crowd on those uh, references? Have we lost more than bit? likely? More than oh likely. God! So we we apologize for that. We that's not the that's not the aim. Uh, I'm, sh I'm showing my age. <laughs> Guess sensei, were you you were you a a a Stop tween talking. or teen girl in the the late eighties during the era of the like sassy and bop and teen beat and all that? No, she wasn't even a thought at even that time. Yet. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't even a thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no no no, that's okay. I just okay. So I'm the only one that was. Let me tell you that these pictures are softcore porn, and they were intended for my 11 year old ass to look at. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> that is so it's wrong. Different, time. different, different times. Is so wrong. Different times. I don't need to see Billy Zapka's nips in the skin tight jeans in the ocean. I really don't. I'm 11. But here you go. And they're hanging on my wall. Oh, man. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm envious of anyone that got to grow up during the 80s and actually experience all of these films brand new. The music brand mm -hmm. new. Like, it's just unbelievable. Like, I'm incredibly envious of that. So, well, don't be you. envious because the person that you're envious of, as uh, you know, squeaky knees right now and is is 20, 15 years older than you are so you know oh god the, you're I, all good you're all good I, I was beginning to think i was the only one who was that old i'm like please don't let me be the only one. Oh no don't but, worry I, okay. I saw all three at the cinema okay don't you worry about that okay wow that's awesome yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, squeaky knees and um, your neck doesn't always want to bend. And... <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> and when I see Ralph Macchio doing what he does, oh um, it's just insane, especially in season three. I mean, sure, there's a stunt double, but you could see that you could see the scenes that he was doing himself. And it's Ooh. super impressive. Like, he, he could still do the crane kick. Yes. And the guy is. Fifty, uh, Bri Brianna. How, he how will be he sixty again? on November fourth. That's, that's unreal. Right. Unreal. 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 He looks like the way he looked in my cousin Vinny, just a little older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But matter of fact, Marisa Tomei looks the same as well. Yeah, her uh, too. I don't know yeah. what I don't know what they had on that show, but the water, I something in the water. Yeah, something in the water. I don't know what they were, but they all like they don't get old. It's Whatever incredible. it was, Joe Pesci didn't drink any of it. So <laughs> no, 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 no. The Irishman I, in the Irishman, I think it proved that. So. Yeah. Ooh, poor guy. Gene, it's funny you said about the stunt work. Oh, you guys heard about? Uh, I mean, Drew obviously covered it as well. Uh, about Janelle and Hido. They're not. Uh, they're not returning for season four. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah. Well, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was it was in a um an interview that um that Janelle on gave. bleeding cool, I think. On bleeding cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are they're not the they're not the stunt coordinators for season four. Oh uh, right. yeah. wow, okay. Obviously they've been on it for all three seasons, Bonsai and uh, Janelle said that they were told that they're going a different direction. So it's quite insane. I mean, I think obviously Netflix are just I mean, I don't know what kind of direction they're going. I just hope they're you know bringing in more of that martial arts type side to, you know, Cobra Kai, but obviously well, we'll see what what they'll do. But what what's the what's the story with this uh, this Leo Howard guy? Uh, Drew mentioned him the other day. Yeah, yeah. Who Kicking is he? Kicking it. Kicking it. Uh, <laughs> no way. Disney show. He was on a so, Disney show. 
Yeah. So I'm, I'm in a video on it. Uh, basically, um, you know, even for, even since like Cobra Kai came out, uh, you know, there's this Disney channel show kicking it, which mm -hmm. is like a karate show. Right, you have right. this young guy, Leo Howard, who's the star of it. Very, very skilled in martial arts. So a lot of people were saying he should be in Cobra Kai. Then Jesse Cove, um, posts a oh, photo yeah. on his Instagram story with Leo Howard ah. and in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, that's just oh, like, yeah. and yeah. then Shamoon, didn't you talk about uh, what Jason David Frank from Power Rangers? Is that definitely confirmed? Confirmed. Oh, that was uh, that was like a complete. I think I was a misdirect because uh, he oh. cleared it up and everything. He said cameo is all. Cool. Okay. I hope. I mean, I think he said he's not going to be in it, but I was like Green Ranger. I, I grew up with Power Rangers, dude, as you know. Sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah, sure. I was super excited, like. He is a legit martial artist. Like, um, I think he's like what eighth dan or something in, uh, in karate. I think he's even got this title now. Uh, we call him. There's like a name you get when you get a specific uh, dan, and uh, I think it says Hanshi or something. So he's called Hanshi, uh, Jason David Frank or Hanshi Frank or whatever. But uh, yeah, he's legit, man. And um, yeah. it'd be cool to see someone like that. In Cobra Kai, that's so accomplished, you know, off screen. Yeah. Well, Hito choreographed mm. the Power Rangers. Yeah, that's another so... thing. Okay, the, the... I, do, I, do, I do have a question to the uh, the young ones up there. Um, you know, because we, we talked about, you know, Brianna was talking about Daniel being kind of her long life celebrity crush. So my question <laughs> to Jesse, Drew, Shamoon, and Mariah is and and andrew both andrews is do you have a celebrity crush in the cobra kai cast is there uh, someone that you i wouldn't say crush but i think mary and peyton are both very attractive <laughs> Oops, oh i agree bro <laughs> i'll have to agree on that one too you that are the crush, least though. teenage teenage boy i have ever heard speak andy <laughs> <laughs> That was so polite and respectful. It's like, wait, how old is he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah. That's it. Girls, sure, what on. about you? Mariah, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse I, 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 I didn't want to put you on the spot, but you know. <laughs> you did. I mean, um, not really. No. I'd probably say Tanner. Okay. Tanner yeah. would be, yeah. Clarence. Tanner is yeah, my, my daughter's best friend has a thing for Tanner. Big thing for Tanner. Tanner oh looks like he was straight out of Boy Meets World yes. from like 1993. It's the yeah. hair. Oh, yeah. He looks like, um, what's his face? Uh, Ryder Strong. Ryder yes. Strong. Yep. What a cool mm. name that was, too. Ryder Strong. It just dawned on me that three quarters of this chat are the same age as my children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That's a disturbing realization to come to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, you know what? It, not necessarily because it brings everybody together of all gen different generations. That's awesome. Looking at it that way, right? Yeah. And right different too. continents. That's another reason why Cobra Kai is so great. Like, look, we're all here talking about it and doing this little right. read through. So it's, just, it's exactly. amazing how it's, it's touched all the generations. Like, uh, it's, I just love that. It's, just, it's not many shows where I have, like, you know, someone older than you would understand it, and it's like we all understand it on that same sort of wavelength. So it's just great, you know. Yeah, Absolutely. I can't yeah. wait to meet you all for real. Comic Con 2025. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> what about? Oh Cobra, no, no, CobraCon. Everybody Cobra has Con. To, like, <laughs> to Atlanta for <laughs> like Dragon Con because we can do the meet up with the actors that live there. That's oh. how that's how Peter and I met all the kids and and um, Rose and all the the cast that lives there came in and we all went to a bar together, and oh, it was that's awesome. Really cool. that Yo, that's, that's, that sounds that's super cool. But I have to say, imagine like season six and we're in coming San Diego Comic Con, big panel, and we see the trailer for the first time with everyone. 
It, that would be just absolutely magical. Oh, that would be pretty nuts. Huh? And hey, Shamoon, we're flying. I, I'm coming to London, and we're flying together to San Diego, bro. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Uh, I've never been to the states either, so that's my first time. Well, I'll, I'll take care of you. I'll, I'll you know, pull your pants. I'll pull like Borat. You know, when Borat's like, I'm going to make <laughs> I'm not flying I'll with Borat. Like <laughs> <Good boy. laughs> uh, okay. Very nice. I would be super like excited. Do I want to go to the US with Borat? I'm not sure. Oh, man. <laughs> the Frenchman with no green card and Borat. That's who we're going to be. <laughs> oh, boy. But you know what's going to be crazy is when, when things do get to that point where we can be out like that, I mean, the lines for autographs for these people are going to be insane. Oh, I yeah. don't even want to know what that's going to be like. Oh, uh, even during the yeah. even during the YouTube days, you know, you would you'd get in line, especially at Dragon Con. Um, I think I stood in Ralph's line was so long that it was in front of his table, and then there was like a twenty foot break, and then they had us back under this like overhang, and there were like a hundred of us there, and then we went around the and there was like five hundred people in this line. Right. Oh, wow. it, it stood there for like an hour, Oof. you know. It was, and I can't imagine what it would be now. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And you uh, know what? I'm glad. I'm glad now that William Zapka is finally getting that shine that he deserves. Yes. You know? Oh yes. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's all, it was. It was always really about actor. Ralph Macchio. It was always about you know Daniel mm -hmm. Larusso. Mm -hmm. And I just, and I always felt like kind of bad for Johnny even back before Cobra Kai was a thing. I was like, ah, oh, you know, I feel like he kind of got shafted a little bit, you know. Yeah. In the eighties, in in the moment, um, at, you know, going back to the the fangirl and the the fan magazine, you know, era and all of that, there was almost as much Billy in those magazines as there was Ralph. Okay, but mm. it was like that once we got to like nineteen eighty seven, um, when the Equalizer went off the air. Right, I think was about the time that Billy started sliding, like out of the magazines and stuff. And now he's got he got his revenge, huh? <laughs> he deserves it. Oh, he deserves it. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, Cobra Kai Studio, Dan, do you have any thoughts? Or we got a we got a question here. If you want to answer this one, I actually get this question a lot. But um, Robert asks, uh, "What will all of you content creators do when Cobra Kai is finished?" I can't mm. imagine a world without Cobra Kai at this point. So, if Daniel, I think we have a. I don't want oh, to yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Dan? I think he said his like mic. Oh, he muted. Mic is. I think he said he was like delayed. So that's why, like, when he was answering, like, all later. right. So, like, whenever he jumps in, he could jump in. There might be like a delay, but if anyone wanna wants to I answer, think I, so. I think we have a couple of years left at least. They said at least six seasons that they potentially have enough, you know, content for or scripts, you know. Right. So, and then uh, they hope there definitely be spinoffs as well. So like, it's yeah, not like they they don't don't spinoffs. Who yeah, gets the spin-off is the question. I just moved to we, I just want them to expand yeah. it and like uh yeah, like yeah, I want that Miyagi story mm -hmm. if they do that. Uh and the, the Kree stuff as well. I really yeah. want to know more about those characters. Um and there is something that, that we never talk about. Like I could totally see obviously, you know, season four, five, six, and the spin-off, mm -hmm. probably Miyagi, early days, Hawaii, Pearl Arbor, all that stuff. And then how would you feel about a Cobra Kai movie to finish the whole Karate Kid, Cobra Kai saga. If, if like, film, an Elcom, like an El Camino. That'd be interesting. Six seasons in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone loves community, they'd get that. Six seasons in the movie. That could be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I would do, what I will do, most likely. Yeah. Um, my best friend is on oh, a Stargate. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Danielle. Was that Did the he stop delay? talking? Daniel, are you there? Man, that's a long delay. That's <laughs> that like very long interstellar. Delay. <laughs> that's like <laughs> interstellar, man. It's like he's on Mars. <laughs> that's um, like time travel type right. of delay. Say, my my best friend is on a Stargate um, SG One podcast, like a, and that's been off the air for delay, you know, fifteen years. Yeah, he's he's delayed. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just said that he's delayed, and oh, I think that was thing. part of the conversation we were having, like. How delayed is he? Like minutes ago. ten seconds or something crazy? No, I yeah, think I it's think... like minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever he possible? jumps in, is that well, a thing? 
I don't like know. Like a five minute oh, delay. Yeah. Delayed. Everybody just he said was... his, his service has been kind of messed up from the storms. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I, 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 I won't stop. I'll keep making the posters and I'll keep making the music videos. I oh, you mean make... after the day after? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, when it's done, I still, I still make stuff for Stargate and it's been off the air since 2006. So oh, you still do. Yeah. So why? Oh yeah. Why? And switch yeah. just started. Carrie just started the podcast. You need to listen, by the way, Sean Kirk, you need to sub oh. and listen. Yeah. Children well, of the gods. Find yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, really quickly, I know some of you guys have to go. I'm gonna stay on for like 30 minutes. So if any of you want to stay on, like you can. But if any of you have to go, you guys can just. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have to um do a bunch of stuff for my pageant this weekend, so I have to go. But <laughs> break your leg. Good luck, yes, good break luck leg. You got to win. Good luck. Hey, hey, good you're gonna luck. win, and if you don't, just strike first. All right. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah. Perfect. No, 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 no striking first in the beauty pageant contest. Yeah, that wouldn't look too good. Yeah, I take <laughs> no. that back, Mariah. Just do what you do. Do your thing. Just use the wheel it. technique. It works all the time. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. No prank kick. Take but, care. Um, yeah, it's been super take fun. Care to drew for the doing technique. this <laughs> thank you this is really fun <laughs> thank you to mariah for the, uh, for the script yeah, yeah. 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 give her a round of applause shout out yeah. to mariah, you, mariah. <laughs> not easy <laughs> thank you mariah no but um yeah so i'll see you <laughs> take care mariah bye, bye. bye. Right, now bye. i better make sure Long my time. dog didn't go to the bathroom upstairs <laughs> oh, all right no. okay Drew, i gotta go <laughs> my sister twice. told me so i'm gonna take off um, watch party, all okay. right? Yes, I said that, man. Well, we're, we're gonna bye greet. Bye, bye watch party. party. See you guys. Bye, bye, Take party. care, brother. Bye. Thank you guys for coming on. Watch party. And Thank you for having us. Oh, dug in the house. Bye, Andy. Of course. Bye, Robbie. Bye. Bye, watch party. <laughs> Robbie, you're my son. <laughs> but I hate you, Dad. Just leave. That was so funny when we had two rubbies. That was just hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, that, was so nah, that, that honestly made it guys. so good. You know what? We got to do an episode. We got to do an episode where there's Sean and Robbie. Someone has to play Sean because he has some funny lines, man. Yeah, when he yeah. goes, when he goes in on Robbie, someone's got to oh, do that. Right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. right oh, at, the, at, at the juvie place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Robbie, you're my son. I'm trying to think of the line he said. This, I mean, he all the dialogue he had with Robbie was hilarious. But there's one particular thing he said. Um, when he, oh, especially... way he said, "I said this to Okaya." He was like, uh, "Looks like karate, but I want to throw down." And it just made me laugh the way he like did it, and just like goes in front of his face and says it. Just does such a good job. Because Sean is always taunting Robbie for a fight. It's like he wants to fight him so bad, and then he finally mm. gets what he wants. Yeah. 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 Literally. Uh, literally. Uh, Robbie struck. Uh, struck first, didn't he? Like uh, he learned that from Chris. He did. He actually yeah. did. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And OK is phenomenal. He's great. Oh, he's great. Yeah. He's very talented. Um, yes. Yeah. He just. Well, he's been really good we, for himself. We, Cobra Kai, we, Walking Dead. Insane. Oh my god! Yeah, when I found he was out in Walking he was, Dead too. Yes, yeah. he's um. What's his um? The mask. Uh, is that the end of season? Is he, is he, he's a really great actor. It starts with an yeah, E. Yeah, he's in Um, I wonder what oh, season oh. that was. <laughs> he he was like a, a like a ninja guy at the end of the. Yeah, he has a mask season. on and like everything. Wait, does yeah. he have fighting experience? Is that <laughs> why they picked him? If he That's was a ninja question. guy. I don't know. I, I don't really know. So, I, I mean, I would imagine he's going to take off his mask because um, I don't think he's like a you know like. I, I don't I don't watch Walking Well, I did watch Walking Dead, but I'm not, I'm not watching it now. Yeah, but, I gave uh, up on it. Yeah, his, me too. After season five. <laughs> me uh, too. His yeah, IMDb only shows him in the um the ten Same. like filler episodes between like five and six. six. I quit watching. Right. Or what? It, I I don't think the ninja guy was actually okay. I think it was just yeah. his character. Yeah, but yeah, I still can't believe they actually did the stuff with Glenn like that stuff still like shocks me that they actually oh, went ahead yeah. that, that was so graphic and I was just I was so sad for Glenn and um Maggie that was such an insane really probably one of the most shocking things I've seen in the series at that at the point but uh yeah you remember, you remember that part where like um I, I, this was when I was just watching clips on YouTube um when that guy shot himself followed on Glenn 
and everyone thought like oh, yeah like, everyone yeah. thought like glenn was getting ripped up and then they showed that under the dumpster. That guy, his body that yeah, was went, oh, went, dude went, everyone thought he was dead he went <laughs> under the dumpster and then that's how the cliffhanger was <laughs> that was so, great yeah that was insane <laughs> How many people have we lost? <laughs> <laughs> we got well, a, we, one, 166 people, 169 now. It's good. Um, okay. Aaron Crace asking if we would like to see Paul Dugan in the Alpha Elite. No. No. <laughs> that movie I, doesn't uh, exist. Nope. <laughs> I honestly think it's going to be hard to write them in. Like, let's be honest. How can people think that Dugan could be, could know Crease, but that's just like, Bringing you know, that whole arc it, up. It. Well, look, I love Michael Ironside. I mean, he's a badass character from, you know, actor from tons of movies from the 80s and 90s. But, like, I just don't see why it's necessary, I guess. It, well, it doesn't I feel like Julie's anything. the only character you can truly bring from that. And well, bring Julie Pierce. Yeah. 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 So and that could come, a, you know. Um, th there was a collab that we did together where we actually talked about yeah. how we would do it if we if we had to do it. It would be at uh, someone's funeral, one of the soldiers, brothers yes. in arms. Yes. yes. And then, you know, maybe you get Chris, maybe you get Silver, and then Dugan comes in right then. You know, in this context, I would buy it. Only in the context of, you know, veterans, uh, brothers, in, brothers in arms. That That's... I don't know that I would buy it even that way. Really? Because there were so many people in the American military between 1968 and 1973, the right. odds of Dugan. knowing yeah, I see what you're Chris saying. Because, yeah. Cause yeah. Chris, Chris and silver, you know, then became Cobra Kai, but Dugan actually doesn't have a direct link to Cobra Kai. So you're right. Yeah. That would, that would kind of make the world shrink in size. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. everyone was just, yeah, you're right. I would be fine with Julie showing up just oh, she's she's coming back she's coming back i mean the I fact that Duke, they met her canon yeah yeah sure. yeah it just just that she knows daniel you know so right. her coming back is not a big deal to me plus yeah. if they can afford an oscar winner that is which netflix can oh uh, yes they can, oh uh, my they god can. <clears throat> for at least netflix can afford hillary swank yeah, because you know of Away. I remember when Cobra Kai was trending. Isn't this when they dropped it on Netflix? Like, Away was trending as well. And then people were like, oh, Hilary Swank was in Cry Kid. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah the same thing about that. Away, like, knocked, that. Um, Away knocked us out of the number one spot, actually, three weeks in, um, yeah. in September. So it was like, oh, look, um, Julie just kicked Daniel's ass. It was the first time <laughs> that ever happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? Yeah, I, think, I, don't... I, think, I think Cobra Kai is so hot that you don't even need Netflix budget to draw anyone in at this point. I think just the reputation itself, what it means, how legit it is, um, mm. the credibility behind the whole project. I think Hilary Swank would sign just, you know, I don't even think you need the, the dollar bills. I'm oh come sure. on, Jean Wasn't she approached though? Didn't didn't someone interview her and she she was like, I was approached about it or something? I thought I what? No, I thought Wait, I read that somewhere. Um, the, the most I've ever heard her say is she's aware of it and she watches it. Okay, that's what it was. That's what uh, it was. No. That she was aware of it. Yeah. But yeah. But I, we we all lived through the the, the YouTube years. Yeah, I mean, yeah. no matter how good it is. It, they never could have gotten Hillary Swank on there with a YouTube budget. No, probably mm. not. Um, you know, they had to build the first version of Mr. Miyagi's backyard literally in a parking lot two hours before they shot Daniel and Robbie walking back there. That's so, insane. Yeah, but I isn't think it a turning, shame? Go ahead. I was going to say, isn't it a shame that they actually knocked down the real Mr. Miyagi house in California? It's completely level. It's like a, a neighborhood now. It doesn't even look mm -hmm. anything like it anymore. I don't know, just throw, figured I'd throw that in there. Yeah, they they actually demolished it between yep. one and between one and two. And they had to rebuild it for number two. Yeah. Yeah, from what? two on it. From two on, it was it was rebuilt. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. So, so was it in a different location, or is it like the same spot again? No. Oh no the 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 um it was it was built on the um the Columbia studios lot Oh, okay. okay for, no, for um, two and three uh, for number one, it was a legit house in Cuyahoga park. 
Right, 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 right. And for me, it does the trick, and they've done a, an, an amazing job. The only thing is the light, uh, you know, lighting. Uh, it's just California, Atlanta. The, in that scene, I can I can tell that it, there's a difference in location. Can you? Um, it, it, um, <clears throat> I, I don't think that um, California has orange leaves on the trees in July. <laughs> right? Yeah, you I noticed that, that right away. I was like, right. so it's fall in this shot, but it's supposed to be hot as hell at Miyagi Do right now. I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Every time they have to go up on Stone Mountain to film, it's like, okay, guys, I'm sorry, that's mm -hmm. not the Sierras, but bless your hearts for trying. No, for bless you know. your heart for trying for sure. <laughs> but when you watch the original Karate Kid again, and you get the Bill County music, and you get that orange light, uh, you know, it's just pure magic on film. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just insane. And yeah, they did an amazing job recreating it. But it's still something, you know, the magic's in the light, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that I mean they they get that when you can tell like the the one ten second shot of Daniel and the kids driving down the PCH. Yeah, you know that's the PCH, right? You know yeah. they're there. Um, but then you can also tell that when he's fighting Trey and Cruz, that yeah, that's Tybee Island. That's <laughs> that's um, not actually the pacific no. ocean and yeah, yeah. yeah but suspend your disbelief i can i can i can give them a little bit some i give so, them crap for but so th th this is not a trick question i don't have the answer uh so i'm asking you guys because you're experts season three were there any scenes shot in california was the whole thing shot in atlanta season three because season two you know the scene on the beach, like you said, the scene. Uh, you know, driving on the how do you call it on the the P PCH, the Pacific yeah. Coast Highway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, season three, was there anything shot? I mean, when they're like chasing the goons, you can tell that this is not California. Oh well, yeah. Plus, we <laughs> right. completely by accident. Uh, Amy um, found on Instagram, someone was like, um, they're filming this car wreck down here. And it was a, a, a you know, a kind of rough part of Atlanta. And it, Amy and I watched that video. She showed it to me and, and put it on Tumblr. And we all just like stared at it and watched it over and over and over again. And it's a minivan followed by an Audi and then two cars uh -huh. spin out. And it's like, what the hell is going on? Oh, yeah. And, you know, we're, we're, you know, and then we see the scene and it's like, oh, that's what the hell was going on. Um, right. So that one was definitely filmed in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say I can't think of any off the top of my head. And the reason is probably because their location budget was spent in Okinawa. Yes. And now yes, that no. Netflix is going to pay the bills. I can almost guarantee that season four will have more cheeky little scenes in California. And that's that's my hope. Well, what about the um like all the the far shots? Like, for example, uh the finale before they revealed Miyagi Do, they had that big shot panning of all the houses. You guys oh yeah, Atlanta the B roll. Or... The, the the all that B roll though is like they could have shot all of that literally in a you know a, a day. Uh, way back in uh, September of 2017 mm. and have a ton of B-roll they haven't used yet. Right. Plates. Yeah. Yeah. Probably same thing for Encino Country Club, right? This was probably all like, or like Ali Mills the house um, that you see, like that. that's probably just a plate, like a shot that it took at some point. That is okay. You just that is the exterior of the house that they used for the Mills family home in the movie. I just about because I, yeah. I, I like immediately I was like, that's Allie's house. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you never see Elizabeth so, Shue coming in, walking in. So oh, it could no. just be a plate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, just, yeah exactly. they, they go they go out there and they shoot it and it takes 10 yes, seconds. Yes. You yes. Know? <laughs> that's it. Um, um, yeah. Let me ask you guys something. Who? I know I, I, I'm not trying to brag, but I, I did know from the second, but um, when you saw Allie's mom, did you know it was her? Do you know it was Allie like coming on? You know, she was sort of teasing it. I um, did. Yeah. I did. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, <laughs> I did. 
The mom was recast though, which was yeah. kind of crazy. I knew it was Allie's house. Um, I did. I was still crossing my fingers, praying that she was not going to be inside. And when it was a different actress, I was like, yes, it's not her. And then. Well, yeah. you didn't want to see her. I did not want Allie there at all. Yeah, you've been saying it for, uh, I've been following you. You've been saying it. You've been pretty consistent in mm -hmm. your desire not to see Ali. I'm not going to ask you why, because that actually makes me sad, because Ali I is my celebrity crush, to answer the question I asked earlier. Right. Um, I kind of want to know why. Hey. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> want, you, know. you want to know why I did not want Ali? Yeah. 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 Um, because... Okay, I love Allie. I adore Allie in the movie, right? Okay. She is, uh, uh, to uh, quote whoever, she is a strong, independent white woman, and she don't need no man, right? <laughs> she is with Daniel because she wants to be, not because she needs to be. Obviously, because she breaks up with his ass when he pisses her off. <laughs> um, and she was written out very badly, in the second movie, she was supposed to have a fantastic send off. Right. Um, and the writers got mad at her. So they turned her into this horrible person who was cheating on Daniel and then wrecked his car and then told him she was cheating on him at prom. And it was just awful. Yeah. yeah but, I got to agree. Gotta agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to agree with that as well. Yeah. But I still love the character so much. I did not want her brought back in just to have no function other than to serve some purpose for Johnny and Daniel. I want Allie's character arc to serve Allie's character. I don't want her there to advance Johnny and Daniel because that completely discounts everything she is. She's more than that. And I didn't, I was, I was terrified. Mm. And then when I found out she was divorced, it got even worse. And I, I really should have trusted because the big three and Michael Jonathan Smith were the four who, you know, wrote her. So I should have trusted them. And I didn't. When she said she was divorced, I was like, oh my God, here we go again. Soap opera love triangle. Daniel is married and we're going here. Um, and then she served her own purpose. Allie needed closure as much as the boys did. And she was there to get it, tell her story and get her closure. And it served her character. Well, now and, it makes sense. Yeah. And now I'm absolutely fine with her coming back. If she were to come I, back every season from here on out, I'd be fine with it. And I think your allegiance to Allie, I, I basically feel the same way about uh, Silver. I feel like almost like ownership over, like I'm actually super nervous to see how it turn in season four. Mm -hmm. That that's the one thing that makes me like the way you were about Ali. I'm the same way about Silver. I don't want it to be. I mean, you know, I trust I trust the big three, so we'll be good. Yeah, don't I, bring him back just to scream. Oh boy. Up. Oh no! Please, no, 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 no! Right, yeah. don't bring him back to just like check it off as another legacy character that brought back. Yes, like, which right. they yeah. haven't right. done Perfect. so far. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They haven't done that so far. There's no reason why they would. I, you know, in them we trust, but you know. Yeah, I think they're yes. gonna write him very well, <laughs> Terry Silver. I think they're gonna put a lot of thought. In they it. can't screw that up. Like <laughs> that's no, a no, character. No. 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 The question. Imagine is, like Terry Silver coming in as a softy. Like, nah, no, no way. way. They can't be no. doing anything like that. No, bring, you ponytail or no ponytail? No oh, ponytail. ponytail. <laughs> no. Oh, ponytail. Uh, ponytail no, obviously not. Um, Why do you think he had long hair at uh, re reunited park? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Really quickly. That was screaming for a ponytail. Sorry, yeah. I hate to interrupt, but um, no, no, go. Cobra Kai studio says he has to go, and he doesn't because of the lag. He oh, messed yeah. it. Oh, so. okay. Thank Bye, you, Daniel. Daniel. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Thank Dan, you, Dan, you were a good soldier. On. You were Appreciate a good it. soldier. <laughs> Take hopefully him, hopefully next time that have you. Mike thing gets fixed out. Thank you, everyone. That, we'll see you on the next sucks. one. There he is. Oh, yeah, he's there you go. go. He, we, he we love you, bro. We love you, bro. Bye, Daniel. See you soon. Bye, Daniel. Bye, <laughs> boy. Stay I, badass, I, as you say. I have to say no ponytail just because... Um, have you seen what Thomas Ian Griffith looks like right now?
Yeah. He With the like silver hair in the oh my god, he's yummy. Silver hair. Oh, he's oh you think he's yummy? Okay, I thought you were going somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought you were gonna say he looks horrible. No, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were going there as well, Marie. That's okay. Okay. Oh, you misdirected the hell out of him. That man but. is 59 years old, same as Ralph, and yummy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. He's, like, he's, like, he's really tall too. He's like Ex super tall. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Know. And extremely charismatic. Extremely charismatic. He's going to well, give it, everyone a run for their money. Mark it my doesn't words. Hurt that Ralph's only five nine. I don't know if they put lifts oh. in his shoes or what. How they make Johnny and <laughs> Daniel look the same level. height? It's I'm crazy. Because <laughs> Ralph and Billy, when they're standing next to each other, you can absolutely tell that there is a three and a half inch height difference between them. Wow. Right. But then Daniel and Johnny are the same height. I don't, my brain does not compute. Um, <laughs> the fact that you know all this is quite fascinating and a bit puzzling at the same time. Remember and then you, I... have, <laughs> then you have Thomas being Griffin, like 6'5". Like, dude could be like a basketball player. He's so tall. I, uh, sure. I, I told you about these softcore porn magazines that were, you know, <laughs> they also okay. told us their height, like I know that Ralph weighed 120 pounds when he filmed The Karate Kid Part 2. Oh, I know wow. that he got pneumonia after filming the um, typhoon scene. Damn. Like oh, really wow. weird stuff that they would put in these magazines. And I remember it all. Cause... You know, I, I always wanted to know if that typhoon scene was on a soundstage. I'm assuming it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it had to be, right? Yeah. yeah. And, okay, we're all doing, we're all Kubrick Kai creators, we all make videos, and there is one legacy char character that no one ever talks about. Freddy Fernandez. No, I mean, there's, he's, he still gets. He still gets <laughs> Come on, Freddy Fernandez, right? No, I, I, mean, I love Freddy. I mean, someone like literally, there's not been a, uh, you know, Robin maybe Lundin? I missed it. Yeah, exactly. Jessica. Ooh. Jessica. Yeah. No, 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 Je people. Jessica. People people have brought Jessica up as potentially being Tori's mother. And yeah, not just in the word. everybody is Tori's mother thing, but <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, uh, yeah. right, legitimately oh, thinking. But I think the the fact that Daniel Yeah, the fact that Daniel and Jessica didn't go out. They were just yeah. there's Friendship. It was. It just felt that, weird, and I don't well, know. They, they yeah, but I think that's Ralph the reason why old. you could bring her back because he wouldn't be. Yeah, 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 you know, true. you get Ali, you get Kumiko. That's enough. We we don't need to you know meet every single one of Daniel's ex girlfriends. But then she isn't, and that makes no, it easier not. for the writing that's process. A good point. Okay, I can see where you're going with that. You Thank know you. what? Though? Thank you, Sensei. Oh my God, Jean Kirk, you just gave me another fanfic plot bunny. God damn you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we? Just are, are, are you explicit on your channel? Can I cuss, Drew? You already uh, did. I, mean, yeah, I already yeah. did. You kind of like, already said stop? everything. <laughs> like, no, I don't really know what else there is. I'm a little scared <laughs> you that you're asking me. I don't really know what's coming. But oh, I, no, no, no. I just I, I realized and that the, I was and the, the Frenchman can a, take it so on a worry. kid's channel, and I shouldn't be doing that. Um. Well, you've been but, talking about stuff porn for but, half an hour. So. <laughs> well, yeah, like three times. It was marketed to teenagers in the 80s. So, Good you point. know. It, but if Jessica was Tori's mom, and uh, then Daniel somehow ran across her, ran into her, whatever, rekindled their friendship, and then Sam and Tori finding out that their parents have been friends since they were 16. Hmm. That's a that's yes. a whole new dynamic right there. I that like that. Yeah, dynamic. that is. Yeah. That could be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Who, who's who's gonna make a video about that? <laughs> hmm. I thought about it a while ago about Jessica returning, but like, I didn't think about the. I mean, I remember it, you know the scene that Daniel walks into a business. I always thought it'd be interesting if she walks into the Russo Auto deal because she knows about it. If it's you know she's back in the valley. Uh, and then she just knows that Daniel's got this car business. Maybe she visits, gives him like a little present. You know, she did pottery. Yeah. Uh, you know, she was going like back to her own state, wasn't she? Right? Yeah. Moon, yeah. yeah. your, your connection's there, there lagging a little bit for me. I don't know if you're experiencing anyone else is saying that. Um, yeah. yeah, he was. He's a, he's a little, a little, a little, a little yeah. but not bad. Okay. You're kind <laughs> of synth waving. 
We can hear a little you bit. We yeah, it's like you. it's like the take on me video. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love <laughs> but I, oh, I, I could not do a video about that because that is not my thing. That's not the kind of thing that oh, I do. Oh, you mean so... to make silly videos like this? Okay, I'll do it. I'll take care of it. <laughs> you could do it. BKD and Guest Sensei, they could do all, it. All over it. Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> I, 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 as, as we speak, Sensei is already editing it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what I, He's what ready I to roll. He's ready to roll. The <laughs> thumbnail <laughs> is in the can. I'm already photoshopping it. There no, we go. go. Well, we love you Shimun. know what? It's funny. No, nah, I'm back. This is, my, this is all my connection. Oh, good. <laughs> Brianna, it's funny what you said about the the tour. Everyone is Tori's mother because that was like an era of like videos for like three months. Like everybody was talking about, <laughs> oh, this person might be Tori's mother. This person yeah. might be Tori's mother. And it's just like after a while, it's just kind of like, does everyone need to be related at this right. point? You know, yeah. and I feel like, right? Yeah. Right. And it's, 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 it's the same with. Um, Oh my God, Miguel is Michael in in Spanish, so that means he's Mike Barnes Jr. Right. No, yeah. it doesn't. Right. It means that <laughs> Michael is the most common name on the planet in every language. Yeah. Or or <laughs> Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter. Uh, we didn't we didn't really didn't need that because oh, it just no, we makes the whole galaxy shrink like crazy. Not just oh, that. Yeah, that's a bit Star Wars. Bad I, well, I'm right, gonna, we promise. This is this is this is relevant actually to Cobra Kai because so many it's the exact same thing with Tori and I got so mad when everybody was trying to force her to be somebody's parent. Yeah, Tori's the Allie's new way. daughter. Right. Let yeah. let Tori exist in the story as her yeah. own character just because she's earned it. And yeah. I was the same way with Ray. I I loved it when her parents were nobodies. Same, it's like same. she's in the story because she deserves it. Same. Not because you know you didn't need a little gimmick at the end of Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. And you don't need to do anything like this is season four with, with Tori. She's fine. She's fleshed out. Mm -hmm. We're good. You don't need her to be anyone's granddaughter. I agree. Oh, by the Doesn't way, before be I before I forget, we were talking about legacy characters, and I mentioned Freddie Fernandez earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh some about a month ago, and I, I I gotta I was thinking about making a video, but I'm gonna tell you guys here about it. Um Remember in season two with the Shaiku Geiko mm -hmm. thing where they're doing the cold day, you know, what they're working in the cold, cold and the hot, mm -hmm. hot thing. Right, right. I, I so like the when, car insurance. The car like insurance. the car insurance when Chris does that. I love that. I love that. Right. <laughs> uh, but when when Daniel says, All right, you guys want to cool off and they go to the meat locker, right? Mm -hmm. If you zoom in on the boxes of the London broil, like Chris mentions, mm -hmm. it says Fernandez meat on it. And a lot of people didn't see that. Wow. wow. Yeah. So it could make sense that maybe Daniel got friendly with Freddie Fernandez again after he won the tournament. Because remember, they all run up to him with the trophy and they're like, you know, they pull him up on their shoulders and they're like, you know, yeah, you're the best. So it's possible that Daniel became friends with Freddie. He opened up like some meat delivery company and <laughs> said, hey, we want we want to do, you know, uh, some training in your locker. And he's probably like, yeah, go ahead. Go for it. So I don't know if that, that was makes coincidence. Sense. I don't know if it was coincidence, but I was like, wow, how did people notice things like that? That makes sense in it, a super weird way. It was yeah. not a coincidence. So just to, add on to, just to add on to Bonsai Kai's comment about that, uh, I, I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, Hurwitz was asked I, I think it was her which was asked that on Twitter. Um, why wasn't Freddie Fernandez in season two or was he in season two something? And he was like, he was like, he was, or he was there sort of. It, it like was, this. it Whoa. was Hayden. It was Hayden. But that makes sense. Yeah. And Whoa. the reason I know it was Hayden was because he was answering me. Um, oh, that was oh. And oh. Wow. The, okay. See. Yeah. My oh, question, cool. <laughs> my question was, that's funny. When do we find out that Cobra Kai is all a plot between Freddie Fernandez and, um, and, um, Dennis, uh, to get revenge <laughs> for Daryl Vidal's loss, all, all this kind of stuff. And he was like, well, um, Freddie already showed up in episode 207. And yeah. that's with the freezer. So yeah, it was absolutely oh, right. intentional. Oh, oh, that there you go. It. 
Yeah. There you go. All so confirmed. Maybe confirm there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Drew, are we doing the same thing we did last time where we're going all the way to two hours? Two hours. Which we're gives right us there. 30 seconds to say bye bye. Might, right. as well get, might as well get to the two hour mark while we're at it. Oh, very good. Oh, wow. this, is, this has been awesome, you guys. Thank Drew, you. Drew, you happy? Yes. Thank you so much yeah. for putting this together. And, this is amazing. One, yeah, nice to finally interact with you, Bree. In a one last announcement is that it is Sensei's birthday today. <gasps> yes. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. That's a great way to end it. Yeah. Thank, thank you for you. coming on for your birthday. I, thanks for having me for, your, for my birthday. Not your birthday. My birthday. <laughs> <laughs> did you, a lot of fun, you have a good, as always. You had a good birthday? I, now it's even better. How about that? Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's Friday night. Go get you some some wine. Kick back. Get some pizza or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we have some corn banquet in the fridge still. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, Enjoy Jesse, your Drew, Shamoon, Sensei, Brianna, guest Sensei, it was yeah, an honor. So much fun, Can't and Jesse. Yeah, I love the Jesse. Jesse. I said Jesse. Yeah, and, and, and Shamoon, Drew, Sensei, guest Sensei, Jean Kirk. Mwah. Mwah. Love y'all. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah, thank you all for coming yeah, on. It's been so much fun. Yeah, thanks really. for having us. Take everyone. You, you, right. got, you got a nice shop. dojo. You got a nice dojo, Drew. It's a nice okay. place. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. We'll, we'll see do another soon. one of these soon. And um, Cobra Kai. Never, Never die. die. Never die. Never die.